The media may be absorbed with the intricate diplomatic footwork involved in helping the UK out of the European Union, but here the concerns are simpler and far more enjoyable. The hockey club is home to the children of British workers as well as Belgians, Dutch and many others who enjoy the benefits of a united Europe. The kids end up speaking several languages and learn what it's like to live abroad. Kathleen, a Belgian businesswoman with interests across Western Europe, speaks for many who cannot understand what has happened to attitudes in the UK. And she's sick to death of the whole thing. It would be better if there would be a real part of EU just like the others. They've always been this sort of exception when you just play along like all other countries. And, 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 and if they can't join in, do you think it would be better if they, if they just got out? I think at least it's clearer, yeah. The European argument for the UK not leaving is obvious enough. They view it as economic and political suicide. But there's a huge amount of cynicism too. If there is one single emotion that people in places like this feel about Brexit, it's bewilderment really that the UK might not want its children to enjoy the advantages that these kids have. But as well as that, there is a genuine sense that the British people were sold a lie over the advantages of leaving the European Union. The misleading promises of the referendum campaign about how much money the UK gives Europe, the untruths about Turkey joining the EU, or the plan for a European army, the inflammatory posters about the UK being invaded by asylum seekers, all of it are viewed here as fake news that infected the minds of the public. A disinformation monitoring group is now lumping the UK in with Hungary and Poland as homes of untrustworthy information. There have been a lot of lies, either by just not understanding how the EU works and how EU membership works, but also intentional lies. And when information is intentionally misleading, we call it disinformation. The other objection is about the Brexit claim that an independent UK will reclaim an identity lost to Europe. This politician who campaigns for Flemish rights inside Belgium doesn't believe it. I feel Flemish and I will be Flemish for the rest of my life. And I have... Do you think British people will feel more British if, uh, if they leave? I don't know. I think you can be British and European at the same time. Like people can be German and European, British and European, Italian, French and European. It's a bit of uh, different levels in uh, identity. There are certainly plenty of Western Europeans who regard the UK as a lost cause already and think in political terms it's gone. If they hold hope for anything, it's perhaps that people are still able to get along after Brexit. And frankly, many are not sure even of that. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, Brussels.